Welcome back, everyone. This is Victor Campos. So let's talk more about uh, Twitter for your business. Uh, let's talk about hashtags. This is a term you might have heard, but you might not know what it is. So hashtag is basically a keyword for your tweets. Uh, so I'm going to say, well, um, for example, if I click to create a new tweet, and I'm going to write, um, it's Tuesday. Is anyone having anything tasty today? Now, a hashtag is any word with no spaces, so a phrase, with no spaces that begins with a hash symbol, the, the number symbol, the pound sign. And what that does it is it creates an active link so that when someone clicks that hashtag, they see basically a search page result of all of the tweets on Twitter that people are using that hashtag with. So here I started to type a hashtag, and as I type, it um, gives me suggestions. So I recommend to use the suggested hashtags whenever possible because that could connect you with the most amount of people. So I didn't even know there was a Tasty Tuesday hashtag. If I select it, it types it for me. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that hashtag and actually what I'll say, it's Tuesday. Is anyone having anything especially tasty today? And then at the end, hashtag Tasty Tuesday. Uh, what I'll also do is add a photo. I believe I've got a photo. I might have trashed it actually. Yeah, I had a photo of a cookie, but I guess I deleted it. Never delete your photos of cookies. Let me see very briefly if I can bring it back. No, I deleted it. Anyway, so I could have I could have attached a photo. We'll look at attaching photos later then. But the point here is a hashtag. So I'm going to tweet that. This tweet goes out to all my followers, which I currently don't have any, but if I had followers, they would see it. So they would see the tweet, and they would see that highlighted tag. And if they click on it, then this will pop up to show everything that um, has used the Tasty Tuesday tag. It's a surprise ride. Creativity can even take place in the kitchen. Chef Paps knows a thing or two about cooking fish. It's Tasty Tuesday with Mash Up Nicole. Check out a recipe for chicken piccata. Lunch is just around the corner. Red Lobster, Tasty Tuesday. Head to Krispy Kreme for these nerd tasty treats. Who are you going to eat? I want to look at that. Oh, Ghostbuster cookies. All right, so this um, I found something interesting. I found it via a hashtag. Uh, I can search ha hashtags directly up here. That's exactly basically what happens. So you can search a hashtag to find interaction, uh, to find tweets to interact with, as the previous video showed. So I want to interact with this. I, this is a baked, you know, baked goods related to my company and also something fun. And what it shows here is that there's already been two retweets and two favorites. So notice if I select reply, it's going to reply to the original poster. Jet Set Nerds, at Jet Set Nerds, but what Jet Set Nerds had said was also directed to Krispy Kreme. So if I reply, it'll go to both of them. So if I um, don't want to reply also to Krispy Kreme, I could just remove them. And say... Um, Those look far too amazing to eat. But uh, girls got to do what a girl's got to do. So if I want to continue to be part of this conversation, I could add the Tasty Tuesday tag again. And that'll continue to be visible where anyone is searching the tag. So I'll tweet that. Who else? Um, Rodale's. Your Tasty Tuesday assignment. Bake this quick and yummy fruit cobbler. And that's got a picture. 
So that's got another interaction there. I'm going to reply. Fruit cobbler. Um, another way to get interaction is uh, to be positive with people. So if they find, if you see something that you that you like, you can uh, reply, or you could also give some kudos. So you could say, um, "Great recipe! Thanks for sharing on this tasty Tuesday." Maybe put in a question also, so they might reply to the kudos, or they might reply to the question. Um, question. Um, got any great recipes? Oh, I see. They they put a little bit of ice cream. I was going to ask about on a hot day because we're all in a heat wave here in California, and a drought. So I'm going to actually say, uh, and the ice cream on top is perfect for this San Diego weather. What's your fave? And I ran out of space. So I could go in and... Um, edit it. Maybe I could remove a few things here and there, punctuation, spacing, and such, but uh, I'll avoid that. Just do that. So uh, hashtags then give me more options to interact with people. And so um, related to what we've done in a previous video, interacting with people, here's another good technique. Interact with the people that are interacting. So uh, there's some retweets and some favorites. These two accounts uh, Press Rewind and Anastasia Washington uh, interacted with this. So what I could do is check them out and see what they're interact or what they're tweeting about and such. So this is SAG after actress, comedian, traveler, evil mastermind. Um, so if I click on uh, her profile to go to it completely, I can start to see her um, her tweets. Reply to something that she has. Uh, tweeted. Okay, this one stands out to me. Uh, if you grew up in the 90s, late 80s, you might remember this. So I'm going to say, um, nice. We once made a dark wing duck shaped. Um, birthday cake. It got pretty dangerous. With the last slice. Oh, and I see there's an interaction. Uh, there's a notification at the top. Let's check that one out. 10AB retweeted me. We hear that. When we bake a batch of cookies, it's almost it almost makes us sad to sell them. So, cool. 10A. Ooh, to our 16,000 followers. Uh, so, that um, got tweeted out to a bunch of people, and hopefully then that creates more in notifications. And then I'll get followers. I see uh, that she's interacting, so let me put in another technique here. Uh, she's interacting with me, so actually she might be kind of cool. I'll follow her. That might entice her to follow me back. And then Riza also, she interacted with me. Miranda, follow. And Tommy, follow. So interacting with people. Another form of that is following them. I might get a follow back and increase my followers. Once I've got more followers, then when I actually tweet stuff, people will listen. So uh, another way to create interaction is uh, with a little bit of multimedia, pictures and video. So come back on our next uh, video, and we'll show you that. I'll show you how to add uh, pictures and video.